Hey y'all, uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new here. My name is Amy and I am on a journey to live my life on a budget and make my money work for me and save as much of it as possible so your girl can retire at 55. Um, so if any of those things resonate with you, I'm so glad you're here. And without further ado, we're going to just hop on into my wallet, bi-weekly wallet cash stuffing. So let's get into the video. Alrighty, so we are going to start with my wallet and we will unstuff whatever I didn't spend from last week's excuse me, last pay period stuffing. Um, all right, so in my personal spending, we have 41, but I actually owe myself from a savings challenge last, uh, the last one I did, I over saved or I essentially lost the game. Um, so I owe myself 40 bucks here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this 40 that I would normally have carried over to satisfy that debt. Um, so we will pop that in here and you guys will see, uh, I think my next video will probably be my savings challenge stuffing. So you'll see that count then, but that debt is satisfied. All right, so technically now I only have $1 in gas we have 10, 11, 12, nothing in groceries, in household. I think I'm actually gonna let that just carry over. Dining out, we have $1, date night, nothing, and miscellaneous. We have five, six, seven, eight, and $9. Carrying over, okay. So now that my wallet is empty, we can put this cash to the side and I will go ahead and pop that into my applicable savings binders. Um, but we will get started. So uh, every week or every two weeks, I get $70 for my personal spendings, 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Gas gets 75, so 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. Gas is kind of getting more expensive now, not stoked. Uh, nothing for groceries because I'm gonna use this prepaid kind of visa thing that I got as a reward for participating in a survey. Household gets 15, so that makes household at 30. For now, I keep going back and forth on whether or not I want to leave by the household um, envelope in my, my wallet or if I want to move it to my sinking funds binder. Dining out gets 30. Date night gets 35. Miscellaneous gets all eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is my wallet. Moving on to my sinking funds. We have 30 going to car. which brings car to 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 220 dollars. Massage gets 50, which brings us to 51, 150 in massage. Education gets 50, and that brings us to one, two, three, four hundred, twenty, thirty-five, 
$435. Pets gets $25. Which brings pets to 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 140. Birthdays gets 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in birthdays. Fab Fit Fun gets 20. Business gets 30. Which brings business to 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 130. I'm saving up in business because I need a printer. <laughs> and clothing gets 20, which brings clothing to 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, and 5. 165. Alrighty, so that is my sinking funds. Let's go ahead and stuff my carryover from my wallet into our challenges here. So we got, I have an IOU at 100 here because I took $100 out of this uh, to pay in cash. So, and I have a bank transfer going through. Banking takes forever, so I owe myself. But, um, all right, so one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, eight ones going in my one dollar challenge. And I'm not gonna count these. I think at the end of the year I'll count them. We've one five going in our five dollar challenge. And we have one ten going in our ten dollar challenge. Alrighty, so the rest of this money over here is going to be my savings challenge stuffing. So I play a bunch of savings games, it's really fun, and that's where this amount will go to, and this is $600. So thanks for hanging with me on this short but sweet video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!